Hey guys, it's Strat here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day as always. Thank you so much for joining me for another Friday run in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Us. Oh, yeah. Something just moved in this corner. And I don't know what it was and I'm now freaked the f out. Whatever it is, just stay there. Just stay there. Um, anyway, right now, let's try and keep an eye on the cat while he tries to jump out the window. This is all going terribly well for an intro to a video. Yes. Um, no, thank you for joining me. Welcome back. We are going to be cracking on with another run in Binding of Isaac. So let's just go ahead and put myself straight into the corner. Um, obviously, we're going to work on file save three. We're going to go for a new run. Dobby, get down. And then we're going to go all the way over to Samson because we've done diddly squat with Samson. Everybody else has at least got a couple of, like, sticky note completions obviously isaac we need to do hush and delirium maggie we need to do boss rush and greed mode on well hush uh, boss rush on hard along with blue baby mega satan hush delirium and greedier mode pain we need to do boss rush and hards mega satan delirium and hush and greedier mode judas pretty much the same Blue Baby, we've got to do, obviously, Satan, the Lamb, and then everything else. Eve, Boss Rush, then everything else. And Samson, pretty much all of it. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Yes. I hope you've had a great, great week. It's currently, like, 34 degrees. Um, Able mirrors your movement, shoots towards the player, deals 3.5 damage. Not going to take it. Not going to take it. Um, yeah, it's currently 35 degrees and with two monitors, the PC and lighting, it is bloody hot in this room. Like, it is mighty hot. So I hope you're staying nice and cool wherever you are. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fantastic pot placement. <laughs> Haven't enjoyed pot like that in a long time. I kid, I kid. Or do I? <laughs> no, I do. I do. But no, we, um, we're we going to try and work on going to Isaac and Blue Baby for this run. Hopefully, it's going to be okay. Hopefully, we can get a nice, good build going. And wow, we've got Mega Gorper, or whatever they're called. They shouldn't have, probably shouldn't have come down this far just yet. But you know what? It's working. It's working. As always, I'm not going to take the pill unless or until we get PhD. The fud dizzle. The fud fud dizzle. So yeah, I apologize if you can hear a lot of fan noise in the background. I've, um, I currently have four fans on in my room. I've got my desk fan um, just there pointed right at me. I've got my road first rotary one here sort of going round through onto the legs try and get rid of some of the electrical heat i then got another one in sort of mid midway through the room going round towards this fan and onto the bed and i weren't going to take that one and then one that's on the pedestal next to the bed facing down that end of the room so apologies if you can hear that but hopefully the music's gonna drown it out a little bit so we've got Pin as our first floor boss. We shouldn't really be getting hit by Pin whatsoever at any given point. First few times of fighting Pin, obviously there are the odd stray, stray retaliations. So those that can sneak up on you by surprise at times. And then obviously the Ipecac shot as well. But in reality, we should no shot this boss. And we do get another health up, I think. That's going to put us at four red hearts, I believe. Does look as though we're going to get burned in basement. We do indeed. Lost. Oh, wow. So we actually had three red hearts to start with. I've got 1.10 speed, 18 range, 11 tier delay, 1.47 shot speed, 3.5 damage. And we should, in theory, for these first two floors, minus these flies, I knew I should have moved before then, um, should be relatively okay. And I've done it again. 
stupid, stupid mistakes there. <clears throat> but obviously, with Samson, we are starting with Bloody Lust. So every... Oh, God, that's a champion. Suicide. Mullaboom. I think that is the... Mullaboom is the correct term for that. But yeah, we um, start with Bloody Lust as our passive item. So every time we get hit... Oh, that was close. Every time we get hit, uh, we're going to have an increase in damage for the rest of the floor. Oh, excuse me. For the rest of the floor. Um, it does then reset. I mean, we lost... I should have really come down anyway, but I would have lost red heart damage, so... Hey-ho. Um, yeah, it does reset when you go to the next floor, but it's very, very handy to have that extra little bit. I really want to try and get these to center middle. That's not good enough. That'll do. There we go. I really didn't want to waste a bomb on that. Because I weren't too sure, but I'll happily take that. Another troll bomb. Brilliant. Brilliant. Buttons. 50-50 chance that these are good. Chances are they're both bad. That's good. That was good. So that's the bad one. Yeah. Sucks that chances are one is good, one is bad. But, um, yeah, we should have stopped when we hit the good one. I am going to blow the keeper up just to try and increase our devil deal chance. So add an extra 10% onto that. Because considering we lost stupidly our devil deal. Our guaranteed one, I should say. At four and a half damage, I would have thought those... The poops would just be one shot. <clears throat> but I guess they're still two. So it must have like eight health or something. Or seven. Or six. Seven sounds about right because it's still two. Even if it's three and a half damage, you still got to take two shots. Still got to take two shots. Boom, boom, boom. Another hopefully soul heart up there. Yep, there is. We yup, 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 we yup. So it's been very interesting week this week. Not the best of weeks, but um, it's definitely been something. Definitely, definitely been something. We've um, time recording this. We whoa, shouldn't have done that. We've um, not long just, I say launched, not really launched, but we've added a new line to our store. Um, I think I mentioned it in a video that got scrapped in the end because it didn't quite work out. Um, my reflection, I don't want that. I really, really don't want that. So I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to destroy the poop. I was hoping for petrified poo, but hey, hey. Yeah, we've um, added a new little line to the store. Um, added because I die so frequently in games, <laughs> and because of the whole COD thing, there was the whole should have been a headshot. It's not should have been a headshot. I need, I'm still trying to work on a design for that. Um, but it, yeah, just a little death skull. Nice little sit of simple logos all on the store. I'll leave some links in the description as always. Um, but yeah, thank you to everybody who, because it's not been long since the video went out where I mentioned that we've finally created a store. And uh, very early days, probably shouldn't have done it, but you know what, it's out there. And thank you to everyone that has bought an item, whether it's the mug, the shirt, a jumper, I say a jumper's more hoodie than anything. Um, any single product, you know, it just means the absolute world. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, we didn't get the devil deal at 46%, but that is fine, I guess. Ooh, blanket. Ah, uh, mm. Okay. That, the blanket is good, because like you can see in the mod, it does give you a shield when you enter a boss room. But there's no way I'm going to get, what, nine coins. Main reason I say that, I mean, I could, because I could bomb this, hopefully get two to three 
um, coins out of the donation box. Potentially four on a good day. Plus a nickel from this kid. But... Nah, sod it. We'll head on down. We'll head on down. It's a good run so far. It's not bad. Flooded caves. A mob trap room. Oh, this could have a guppy item. Troll bomb. Not what I wanted, really, but... Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know how that kid survived. I really just want to try and get the angling shots. It's not working. I ain't screwed up. There we go. Right. <sighs> it is a guppy item. I'm not going to take it yet. Or should I? Just going to cut. Okay, right. That works out perfect. That doesn't. <laughs> that quite frankly doesn't. <laughs> no. All right, another bomb. Check off right first. Dead end. I've got a feeling the secret room is up north. That's, oh. oh, come on, man. This is just terrible play, Brad. Come on. Wow. I really thought it would be there. I genuinely, genuinely really thought it would be there. That's what we wanted. Nice grouped up. Grouped up explosion. Come on. Oh, wait. Why did I stop shooting them? Oh, I didn't see that bloody lip there. Damn it. I really just want the void to go. Oh, no, not the fat bat. Ow. Well, we're <laughs> at 8.3 damage. <laughs> There's always that. There is always, always that. The one good thing about Bloodlust, I think it's Bloodlust. I think the description is Bloody Lust or something. There's Lust and Blood somewhere. Um, but yeah, I, I like that you do get the damage up. And even when you heal, that it doesn't take it away until you get to the next floor. But I do wish you could keep it. I wish it was like a scarred from so many battles. <laughs> you just got the resentment and hatred and it just increases your damage and you just keep it with every hit oh, it'd be awesome be bloody op though stupidly op oh look up right can now afford a premium item in the store hopefully we get a good one if it's black handle i'll i'll take that you know i'll absolutely take that movement speed we're pretty much fine with at the moment there's not too much need to get much quicker. Um, 1.5, 1.6 would be just ideal. And yeah, movement speed is absolutely going to be a next up because we're losing 0.2, but we are getting a base damage up of 2.8. Of That's incredible. Our tiers do have a little bit of knockback. Not a huge amount. But um, there we go. So car battery is fantastic. You know, when you use it, you so say for example, you have the Hierophant card, which drops two two soul hearts, plus blank card as your active item. If blank card will use whatever passive rune cards, pill, whatever you've got, without actually consuming that card, rune, or pill. With car battery, it would use it twice. So it would drop, you would use blank card, it would drop the two soul hearts from the Hierophant card you have stored already, plus it would then drop another two because of car battery. And if you have tower cloth, it's then gonna drop another four. So <laughs> it's, it's, it can be a, it's a massive, massive aid to a broken run. Massive, massive aid. 
Ooh, 100%. I'll take it. I'll take the hit for that. Get even more damage. We're still doing okay on health. We're not going to die on this floor, that's for sure. But we do really, really want to bring that health back up before we move down. And obviously, without us having an active item, I'm very reluctant to actually get car battery right now. I'll probably need it for future floors. I don't think I've ever gone the tower. No, not taken. Um, I don't think I've ever gone a whole run without ever having an active item. But there's a first time for everything. Right, and that is a full floor clear. Minus the secret room, which I think is here. Nope. So the reason why I know that is because there's this gap here. Like, this wall doesn't connect to anything, so there's no way that a secret room can be there. Which does leave me a little bewildered as to where it might be. Um, it could... No, because that up room... I don't know. Let's go find the boss. Pestilence. So I think we're going to get cube of meat. Or... It might even be ball of bandages. But we've got a very, very strong possibility of getting an orbital, which we do. We've got the guaranteed devil deal, which is fantastic. Except it's Krampus. Thank God he went cardinal, not diagonal. And there we go. Shoot brimstone. I will take it. With car battery, with... Um, Krampus's head, there's not all too much of a need for it, so there was only a donation machine in there, so yeah, we'll head on down, we'll head on down. We'll ignore car battery for now, probably a bad call. But we've got, ow, Curse of the Unknowns, so I think we're now at three hearts. Thankfully, we've got toxic splash damage, so these guys are going to die a little quicker. And I really need to be more careful. Right. Just going to try and get the diagonal. Okay. That's not cheating. <laughs> I'm surprised they weren't lunging from that point out. I was only three feet away from them. That's interesting. I just want to... Oh, come on, that missed. You're having a Scooby, right? You're having a freaking Scooby. Thank God for ball of bandages there. I should have tried to run out this room, run back in, and then shoot that up there. But hey ho. So, Kane's other eye, the trinket that we picked up, is has procced, and it gives us a chance to see symbols and locations on the next floor, where every time we enter a new floor. And thankfully it has procs, so we know that there's an arcade, a sacrifice room, we can see the item room, the shop, and the boss on the map already, which is great. It's fantastic. All right, get rid of that, and then I'm gonna go up and just orbital the shroom. There's a dangerous room with a champion and a champion mobile host, a standard and a champion fatty. But that's what we use the orbital for. <laughs> Hopefully, I hope to Christ that we've got a good, good item in this treasure room. I think they are actually called treasure rooms. I've been calling them an item room since the day I've been playing it, but... I think they're actually called a treasure room. I nearly hit that stray poo. Oh, the stray poo. Yeah. Right. Then down. Toxic damage doing very, very well there. Helping us out massively. Acid damage. Okay, I'll take it. So now every other shot is going to be acidic. And it will break rocks and like that, find the secret room. 
don't think it works on... Yeah, it doesn't work on things like keepers and that. It should work on mushrooms. Yep. Okay, it's still a pill. You're a pill. Oh, I'm a pill, I'm a pill, I'm a pill. I'm a pill, I'm a pill, I'm a pill, I'm a pill. I'm going to orbit that one. Way up, you cheeky bat. Le batardo. And then, boom. I'm just longing at the moment for the day that I pick up, or for the room, I should say, that I pick up the... Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Pick up a red heart and it not have any that I physically cannot pick up the red heart. I can't wait for it because then I know I'm safe. Yeah, this is a fantastic room. But it does work in my favour though, these long straightaways. Because with splash damage, when they all start lining up, they're all going to be walking over the um, damage, over the, whatchamacallit, the creep. So, Mama Mega. Good, we could then get into boss rush, but we really don't want to be getting into boss rush. I'm just going to take a soul heart. Go and check out the last couple of rooms. And then we'll fight the boss. If I could get an acid shot on this, that would be nice. Oh, there was no entry. <laughs> Ouch, chihuahua. Chub. So normally when I have acid tears, I'll always, in every single room that I go in, I will just shoot against all of the walls just to make sure that I'm not missing a secret room. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, I suppose I could. But we have already found the secret room. I think we already found the super secret room. So we're getting a bit of a damage up and a health up from that item. And we're not getting a devil deal. We're getting a bloody box deal. Just pills. Not going to entertain it. So yeah, we found the secret room. We haven't actually found the super secret room. So I will... Just double check. Obviously, the very, very luminous, like that one, the tear, that's going to be our acid one that's going to break it. Ah, there it is. We found it already. It's a troll. It's a troll. I stupid. <laughs> I stupid. <laughs> I, I just stupid. Curse of the Lost, not good. We were okay on health in the end. We were okay in the end. But, you know. I've had a really bad urge to play D&D &D recently. Really, really wanted to play it. I've been tempted to get back into Neverwinter. Because I haven't played that in quite a few months now. And... I really, that's how I really enjoyed it. I struggled to get my head around it to start with because I was a bit like, I don't really exactly know what's going on here. I um, don't know anything about the classes, don't know anything about subsets and that. I was just like, uh, yeah, <laughs> sure, I'll do this. Um, I did toy around. We, I got the D&D um, &D starter set couple of years back now actually and never used it well I say I've never used, I've never used it for a campaign I've um gonna check that back wall I've used it in the sense of I've gone through like a first little bit oh hello first little bit of the um of the campaign in there and I drew like <laughs> this massive whiteboard that we now use to write on so that we can communicate with grandma. But um, we, <laughs> I used, I drew loads of squares on that. And I was using that as the map. And I was like, okay, right. So then you find yourself going through here. You walk down into the cellar and you notice there's like seven bunk beds and three standalone beds. And blah, 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 blah. I was like, okay, yeah, we'll do this. And then roll. And I was using a base character sheet. And I thought, you know, I'm actually going to create my own one. So I created a, I think it was Dragonborn. Ow, just spawn under me then, you cheeky sod. And um, yeah, I've 
maybe like a quarter of the first campaign. It's pretty literally, like I say, it's a bit where you go into the house or the kitchen or something. There's like a share a bit at the bottom you have to fight um, on your way to Neverwinter or out of Never Never. I think it's on the way to Never Neverwinter, but I don't know. And yeah, I've been really, really wanting to just get into a good D and D campaign, but. Struggling to find one at the moment, I must say. But uh, I think the issue for me is knowing enough people <laughs> to really get involved in it and having the means, ability, and understanding of it. Uh, I'm going to check here just in case. But no, there's not. Okay. Oh, there is some of these fellas. Little cubones. Oh, come on. Stuck on a stupid skull. Sigurum? No. An army. An army. Come on, I just... Okay, right. Well, it is empty. So, let's despawn them. Let's go back down. This is working out relatively well so far. Obviously, Bloodlust is just helping us out no end. It's an absolute MVP at this point. Uh, we will go... We'll carry on going right for now. Because we will need to obviously come back and just check down. So we haven't found our item room, nor the shop yet. And we've almost got enough coin for two premium items, which will be good. Or at least some soul hearts. Alright then. Alrighty then. Again, spawning directly under me. How is this... How is this legal? This is not legal, I tell you. In the realms of all things behemoth, this is highly illegal. And that was not a standard shot at all. That guy was facing this way, but shot over here. That's rubbish. Right, so no secret rooms. Check for a demon heart. Nope. And nope. Fan dabby dozy room. The lovers. I will take that card because I do ironically need two red hearts. I'm going to acid these rocks. Get the key. Get that. Get rid of the pill. Hey, we found the item room. Nice. If you could please just die. If you could please just die. Thank you. <laughs> Holy water. Okay. It's going to follow us around. If we get hit. Well, when we get hit, we will... Um, that glass jar will sort of break and it will leave creep on the floor. When it does, it will deal 24 damage. Yes, so oh, hard. Boom. Deal 24 damage to anyone who should step in it. Got the shop. It is a shop. Right. Mum's box is going to be good because it's going to give us trinkets, but there's only really a few that I would take at the moment. Battery can now be charged twice. Doesn't really mean all too much. Purse, hold two trinkets. Again, handy, but not what I'm looking for. Black candle, I will absolutely take. The soul heart, I'm going to take. And soul heart. I'll take... Um, I won't come back and buy that heart just yet. But I will check the secret rooms. Alright. Another doobie room. Doobie doo. Doobie doo. The Empress. 2.35 damage up. 0 0.3 speed for the current room when activated. I'll take that just for the boss fight. That was nice and easy. There's the super secret room. With. Ooh. I'll take that actually. 
I'm going to stick with poison shots because it is good. I, I like the proc of Kane's other eye being able to show definitely Monstro 2. I'm activating the Empress. I mean, 18 damage? <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, spawned add add ons, but I really want him to just. There we go. Do that because then you can just really lay into him. There we go. Ooh, nine tails. Yes. More base damage. Oh, sensor. I like this. I like this. So I am going to use my only bombs just to blow these six lights up to get one soul heart. But sensor's going to create an aura around of light that slows down enemies and the projectiles. And that's a very, very good mid-game pick right there. So I'd say we're ready to head on down. It's going okay. It's going okay. It's, um... I don't think right now it's as good as our Judas run that we had. But as you can see, the very, very faint aura that emanates from this sort of chalice type thing, you can see it right in the circle around here. Anything that enters here is going to be slowed. Whether it's projectiles or enemies, whatever it may be, it's going to get slowed. So we're going to wait for the hands to come down. I see the shadows, just like a Zelda wall creep. Bang, bang. Stupidly got a hit there, but, you know. What can we do? This is me. This is me. <laughs> right. Demon heart, please. Nope. Hollow. This is going to be a very hollow victory. <laughs> no, I haven't had Hollow as an actual boss in quite a while. Okay. That was very, very random to have the horseman, headless horseman in there. Wow. Okay. Um, oh, I hate these guys so much. Oh, we've got a demon heart, though. Of course, now, because we didn't kill the ghost before we did that, we have to then kill that as well for it to open, which is fine. Chub. Yeah, we haven't had Hollow in some time. We've only been getting Chub, Larry, um, Chad we've had a couple of times. On off cam, when I was sort of doing a few test runs on File Save 1, I had Matriarch for the first time. That is one of the most difficult fights I think I've ever had where I took I literally took seven hearts of damage in about seven seconds it was ridiculous it's the only boss that has ever happened to me on like for it lives for Satan and that yeah sure I've died plenty of times to them but I've never had seven hearts of damage gone just like that you know never bloody horrible but it's basically chub surrounded by blast um uh not teratoma what's the other one um not blast assist oh i can't think of what it's called I'm sure we'll, we'll come across that particular boss, but then it breaks off, and it's the one, one of the ones that you have to shoot first, it breaks down to something else, then you shoot again, it goes down to something else, and then it goes down to the little grub worms. But yeah, it was one of them, uh, my god, one of the most difficult fights, like I say, I've ever, ever had. Ooh. Cancer instead of tear shot, um, poison shots. I'm I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because that's going to take us down to 7 tier delay. So as you can see, we're absolutely cooking with fire right now. We're absolutely laying into them. Just going to search for a demon heart real quick. With the luck being at 1, I don't think we're going to get all too many of them. But I want to push him into the 
and check for a secret room. There it is. Okay. <laughs> and there's the boss. Right. I like Cubones on slow mode. That I do like. So we're going to be heading down with quite a relatively good build. Shouldn't have taken a hit there, but hey-ho. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be something, that's for sure. That is for sure. But going to Isaac with an orbital. Going to Blue Baby with an orbital. Very, very, very good. I'm just going to get the orbital and contact damage there. Uh, we'll take the Polaroid because obviously we need to go to Isaac. Oh, wow. the wafer. All damage is now half a heart, and that is fantastic going into the womb. Fantastic. Oh, yes, two for two. You legend. And let's go down. Uh, we'll try north to start with. Why not? We'll try north. Surprisingly, since we got um, Sulfuric Acid Tears, we haven't really come across all too many bombs, which is not too disconcerting, but, you know, it'd be nice to really sort of have an option of just a bomb. Because <laughs> if we get a chest inside um, spikes, it'd be nice to bomb the chest out of said spikes. Okay, was one invisible? I think one was invisible. I'm gonna look for a secret room, it's not there. I hate this douche. Can go right. Now we can kill that guy because everything else in the room is dead because he's eternal just like the doom guy wow wow god damn son god damn yeah there's no secret in there okay then double polyphemus not an issue because again we can do a lot of contact damage here with the acid i say contact damage it's more it's just creep damage it is just creep good room has a lot of opportunity here so things like that with a keeper oh it's not gonna work on those chests so we'll oh, okay didn't really want to do that but sure That works out. That works out. We, I, mm, yeah, I'm going to take the dice shard because the dice shard is going to re-roll pedestals and pickups in the current room. So I could do that in that room to change the um, the lover's card to something else. But quite frankly, I'd rather save it for the boss item. See, that is just not worth it. I could, again, I could change that, but if we get a really, really, really awful item from this boss, I'm going to change it. If not, I'll probably come back and change the heart. Is that it open now? No. Right. Secret rooms. Secret rooms. I was having to wait a long time for that to proc then. A long, long time. Yeah, it's not on there. Well, we're close by to the boss, should we do come back and change it. So that's not too bad.
No secret room there. And no secret room there by the looks of it. Got one more good shot. There we go. Daddy long legs. Bring it in, you son of a gun. Ow! You bring it in. Oh, come on, man. Magic mush. I can't get rid of that. Jesus Christ. Plus 9.5 damage. Lazarus's rags is good. It does give us an extra life. But Holy Mantle is just going to be so much better. And I don't even want to risk changing that, you know? I really don't. In, changed it into a pill. That's fine. It could have gone into a heart, a coin, anything. So, but we had to use the D6 there just to try and risk it. I had to try and do something. So, but we have done Satan. Um, obviously, we're doing Isaac and Blue Baby. Just wanted to see if we'd actually already done Isaac, but we haven't, which is good because it's going to be a new sticky note completion. Hopefully. Okay, it's not up north. <laughs> but sloth is... It's sloth. And good night. The Emperor... Yeah. Take me straight to the boss, please. Shouldn't have done that. Should have picked the battery up first. What am I thinking? <laughs> oh, Christ. I want to make my way around to here. Really want to try and yeah, slip the gap up there. That's good. And make our way back. And this is where things get dicey. Oh, not Teratoma. Come on. Come on. Come on. I never taught you to be like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Got the orbital, so I'm going to try and get up close and personal now. And there we go. Got an angel deal again. Okay. So the angelic prism, I think, is going to be the way forward here. I think it's pretty much got to, because if we get to this sort of point again, where we're at 22 damage, we hit one tier through that prism. That's going to split into four. We're going to have 88 damage expelled in that one shot. Mitre is good. It does give us a chance to find soul hearts, but it's, it's got to be the prism. It's, it's just got to be. I think that's the play there. And because our tier, because our tier delay is one, two is so quick now we can almost get three to four shots out of that prism any given point so we're, yeah it is absolutely the play here don't like these rooms okay yeah no let's not even deal with this <laughs> Not with the ghosts and the center shooty stone, Isaac. I'm not playing ball. <laughs> I am playing ball. Yeah, Ragman. Yeah, just a goner, mate. Oh, wow. And we're going to get Bookworm as well. I don't... I'm going to use the Book of Sin. Okay, we get a heart, that's fine. Jump, fine, whatever. Tele telepathy for dummies, never really good. Unless you got a magician card as well, then I think that's a challenge, an achievement for using both items at once. Super greed. What are you doing in the cathedral, man? Fought your younger brother earlier. I was it would just collect the coins. Just in case, you never know if you're going to get a gold chest. I'm very aware that I didn't pick up the guppy item. Um, but considering we never got devil deals, you know, I think we're okay with not getting it. Especially with the lack of keys we're getting. So. 
Um, ghost, thank you. Oh, come on, is he still alive? Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, you never know when you're going to get a gold chest and it's going to have... <coughs> Excuse me. And it's going to have um, an item in, so... Okay, Daddy Longlegs. That's fine. We can handle that. No problem. Obviously, with Holy Mantle, we're going to ignore the first hit of damage in every room. Plus, by having... Um, the wafer, we're going to only take half hearts of damage, which here is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. But yeah, back to, I mean, bringing it sort of full circle almost. With D&D, um, &D, I've been actually reading a few comics lately. I've been struggling to sleep a lot recently, and I thought, you know what, I'm actually going to... I'm going to try and read a little bit. Uh, we're going to mainly read, obviously, comics and stuff, just because that's the sort of stuff I like. Ow. Uh, it's nice and relaxing. It's interesting. It could be funny. Full of action at times. And I saw one. I was like, Hang on a minute. This is... I didn't realise this, this had one. But Rick and Morty have a comic. And it's where they play D&D. It's actually pretty damn good. I'm, I've literally only just started reading it last night. And I'm about a quarter of the way through the book, the comic. And it's really good. It's genuinely really, really good. It's like a pound fifty for issue one. There's like 120 odd pages in this comic. Ow. And um, yeah, it's. I was very, very pleased with it. Very, very pleased indeed. Wow! So I've been reading it on, um, on obviously Google Playbooks. Oh, strength! I will take that for this fight. I've grown massively, <laughs> massively, massively. Right, under half health already. Sorry, Isaac, but this has got to happen. It's just got to... Wow, I'm so large, it caught me. And again, jeez. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was my fault. I was in the middle of the bloody room. <laughs> you never really want to be in the middle of the room when that's about to kick off. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. There we go. Right, that's Isaac down and done at least. Where is my phone? Oh, what was that? <laughs> was that a candle I just unlocked? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it is so, so good, the comic. Oh, oh, wow. Sacrificial dagger and apple. <laughs> wow. So, Sack Dag is easily the best orbital in the game. Um, unless, obviously, you've got something that does proc with Prism, as well as what this does, and, like, Brimstone, Mum's Knife. is okay with the Prism, but its surface area that is covered, its hitbox, I should say, is just not enough for my liking when it goes through. Um... And the apple, once I think you get to like two luck, it procs a lot, lot more. And the knife, or the razor blade, I should say, that it spews out, it was 400% damage. 400% damage. It's ridiculous. Now, anyway, I'm just going to use Sack Dag here just to sort of show it off a little bit. As you can see, we wiped that first Fallen out. And not Fallen, Dark one out. And we just annihilated the second one. So Polyphemus, again, first one, dead. Second one, ew, the stain, okay. And Polyphemus, Jesus Christ. Uh, the 
Devil I will take, because that's going to give us a stat increase for the room that we activate it in. Oh, I don't know how I did not get hit there. I really don't know how. That's going to be good. But we're going to keep Cancer. Just for the tears up effect. Because we're just chewing through them now. Chewing through them. All right, bit of health. Nice. Interesting room, I must say. <laughs> right, we've found Isaac. Uh, blue baby. We have found him. Lurking up north in the corner. There we go. Okay. So there was no D6 or anything to change the two pedestal items that were there, but... Yeah. Yeah, let, let's just let's just do this. Let's finish this off. Get this out of the way. We're going to activate the devil card. We're going to get an extra bit of damage. We're going to go into Blue Baby and just say thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are new around here and this sort of content is for you, please let me know. Drop a comment. Drop a like. Smash that subscribe button. I mean the world to have you here. Really, really, really would. This has been an awesome, awesome run. Built very, very well. The last few floors went so much quicker than I expected to. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call it a day there. So this is going to be strads out. So take care, stay safe, stay awesome. But most importantly, try and have fun in whatever you do. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.